Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at not a comic, not a magazine, but a coloring and activity book for the Inhumanoids. Uh, Hasbro's uh, failed but very, very interesting 1986 uh, Monsters from Hell Invading the Earth uh, toy and cartoon franchise. Um, this thing, you know, probably never had a chance, but it's got some awesome toys, great concept, uh, freaky cartoon. Um, and of course they had, um, a good media push for it. So what they did was they had all sorts of different uh, ancillary, um, items for Inhumanoids come out. Uh, and here we have a, a Golden Books, uh, uh, activity book and coloring, uh, set. Um, so what the Inhumanoids was, was, uh, it's three giant monsters from hell. They don't say hell, they say from the depths of the earth. Um, one is uh, a plant creature, one um, is a, a living undead creature, one is a demon sort of fire creature. And um, the, uh, the, the humans have like these armored guys that fight them. Um, and, you know, it's the same ki kind of a team um, behind this that was behind like G.I. Joe and stuff like that. So trying to make this work. Um, the back cover is the same as the front cover, but doesn't have all the text and stuff like that. So... You see the art. Um, I don't think this is like Hasbro art. I think this is just made by Golden Books um, uh, because it, it looks like a, of a different kind, right? This tendril that's a liquidator, I think, and this is the trapper, <laughs> um, which we'll get into. So I thought I'd take a look at this because um, coloring books and activity books and stuff like that used to have their own little narrative in them. Um, that you color and also had some fun activities that were really clever. Um, they're really designed to um, occupy a child for a little bit, you know, uh, for hours, maybe a, a few days. Um, they still make them. I still see these at dollar stores and stuff for like Marvel and all that stuff. Mostly coloring though. Uh, here you color the, uh, the title page. So here, uh, the Arctic, uh, bleak and bitterly cold, is visited mainly by scientists and adventurers such as the Earth Corps. Um, and here's Herc Armstrong, alias Hooker. <laughs> they call him Hooker. I don't know if uh, they called um, him Hooker that much in the cartoon, but um, it's an unfortunate name. So he's green, usually, so like you get your green pencil crayons and color him in. Edward uh, Auger, uh, alias Auger. Um, Auger had weird armor. He was purple, but I always thought like this sort of design for the legs and arms looked um, organic. It so sort of looked like, you know, like they took a, um, a dead monster carcass and, and made armor out of it. But that was never part of the lore, so it's weird. John Slattery, um, alias Liquidator. That's the yellow guy in the cover. And Derek Bright as Digger. And it's funny because uh, um, I still see uh, these guys at uh, thrift stores and stuff like that. Um, but usually with the helmet off and under the helmet was a tiny, tiny head depicting that there's a human inside this big mech suit, right? So you get these tiny head, big armor things. Um, I see them constantly at like thrift stores and stuff. Here's a dot to dot of the trapper to fill it in and, and make it look like this. Dot to dots were neat. They're just a few minutes of fun. Um, here's Decompose, my favorite of the Inhumanoids. Uh, he turns um, things into into eight foot tall living, uh, living dead type of creatures. Um, so here, uh, the large supply of caribou, lemmings, and foxes, and the Long dark winters make the Arctic an ideal place for the evil and humanoid decompose. He can feast in darkness and turn animals into monsters like himself. You see the caribou are all scared and they're running away from him. And here's a fun little um, board game for kids. Uh, they could, you know, they, they can color and they could play this for a few hours, you know. Uh, escape from decompose so you play as caribou <laughs> and and you flip a coin it's like help the animals escape from the evil decompose you use buttons for markers um toss a coin in the air if it's heads move one space ahead if it's tails move two spaces ahead the first one to reach the granite hideout wins so 
all sorts of uh, different um, things you can encounter that like stop you from moving or moving ahead one or two or three or going back to spaces, etc. Um, all the different characters are sort of like um, uh, interspersed around here. There's a mention of Tendril, uh, the Redwoods, which are the wooden characters that um, team up with the humans, etc. Um, I like this one, Caribou, uh, Hoof Broken. Oh no, because you're still you're, you're playing as Caribou here. <laughs> Metlar, the Inhumanoid leader, is tapping the many volcanoes and earthquakes for new energy. Um, so his thing is fire and and um and heat. Uh, here's a um, a maze. Follow the maze from the volcano to Metlar's home in the uh, core of the earth. Uh, let's see. That goes that way. Wait. And then down this way, there you go. As a kid, though, I'd be like, what the, you know, but like, you get older and you can just figure it out pretty quickly. Uh, tendril, uh, the cruel tendril is ransacking uh, the terrain, turning Mutor granites into evil beasts like himself. I don't know if he had the ability to turn... Um, other creatures into himself. He can cut a piece of himself off and it turns into another uh, tendril. Uh, draw a circle around um, all of tendril's clones hiding in this picture. So these two, this guy, these three. I don't know if there's more. Then you can just color all this too. Sensing that the Mutors and Earth Corps are in danger. Armies of Mutors have arrived unnoticed. So Collectively, these monsters are mutors. Um, the rock guys are granites, and the uh, tree guys are redlands. Draw one of the dangers you think the Earth Core will encounter. So that's cool. You use your imagination to draw like a big nightmare creature of some sort. Um, and of course, a kid would do that and then color in these rocks, the individual small colors and whatnot. The low brushy areas are perfect hiding places for the redwoods. Uh, they can spring to great heights uh, when called to action. So the toys for this were cool. They would uh, start out like this and you can um, pop them out to look like this. Um, pretty neat. They look awesome. They were sculpted very well. Big, nice uh, pieces. Um, the eyes were translucent so you could shine light through them. Um, Really neat. You see, you see them. Um, I see one or two every so often at at, um, at a toy show. Secret caverns are perfect hiding place, places for the granites. So the granites were sort of like the rock lords, but bigger. <laughs> uh, the GoBots rock lords. In that, there are a pile of rocks, and you can twist them up, and they get turned into one of these things. Texture rubbings. Um, this encourages you to go outside and play. Look outside and around your house for hard, uh, bumpy surfaces such as rocks, tree bark, floor tiles, um, or brick walls. Um, hold your hold the typing paper firmly on the surface and rub it all over with your uh, crayon, and turn the paper in, in different directions and use the different colors or textures to make an interesting design. Uh, start a collection of different rubbings. So that's something if a kid were into it, they'd be into it for like a week or three days or something. Metlar does not know uh, that his enemy, Magnacor, has followed him from the center of the earth. So Magnacor were these two dudes that could, um, um, like, wrap up uh, Metlar in an um, electromagnetic field. But so it's one guy, Magnacor, and he turns into um, Pyre and um, Krygen. You can see them here. So help trap Metlar. This is cool. This is like a paper craft toy. Um... Cut around the outside border, uh, fold on the dotted lines. Um, Magnacore will split into Pyre and Krygen um, to trap Metlar. So it would start out with, so you cut all this out, fold these guys in, and so you would make um, Magnacore, which is this um, face on these two things folded in um, as the body, and you can see the arms and everything. So that's what that would look like, and then you'd fold them out. And then he splits into the two uh, uh, characters that that um, that trap Metlar. That's neat. 
you know, if I were a kid, I'd actually cut, cut this out and mutilate my book and, <laughs> and and color all this in and make it like a like a paper toy. That's awesome. And you color all this stuff too. Metlar's Word Search. So all the different uh, characters from the um, the toy line are all hidden here. Uh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, Metlar made this word search for you. <laughs> um, Jonathan Slattery uh, and Dirk Bright uh, gather valuable amber uh, resin from the cold sea. Usually, um, amber is where um, decomposes like trapped and then they let them free by accident. Uh, Jonathan Slattery loves to paint underground scenes. Can you draw a picture of an underground cave? So a kid can draw a cave and stuff. And then, like, maybe color in some of this stuff for no reason. Tendril is creating an army of clones. There you go. See, he's cutting them, uh, pieces of himself off and making more tendrils. And then he eventually grows as big as him. Crazy stuff. And this was like a kid's cartoon. It's like all these monsters and stuff. This is a cool paper toy. Um, Granok, leader of the granites, uh, will signal for help by flashing his eyes. Cut out the strip and along the dotted lines on uh, granite. So, uh, yeah, insert the strip in the uh, slits and pull up and down to make granite uh, blink uh, for help. Okay, so you color these eyes in, whatever you want. Cut this out and then cut this slit and this slit. And you can, um, well, I mean, you can cut this out so it's, it's um, a paper toy for you. And then... Uh, slip this through these slits like so um, where the eyes are looking out and this uh, cut piece is behind it and then you can make different eyes and stuff pull up and down on this tab pretty neat pretty cool stuff I, I don't know if um, the industry at the time had a handful of people that could come up with all this cool stuff for all these different activity books and stuff this is really cool stuff for like a toy line that's completely forgotten today. Or by most people, not by me. <laughs> uh, and probably not by you if you're watching this. The Redwoods, led by Redland, um, scare a tendril with fire started in their own branches. Yeah, I guess they set themselves on fire. Here they look more like the toys. You could see the segments where you'd pop them out. It's kind of weird. And here's tendril. Herc's microwave imaging device... Um, maps the underground chambers and finds the inhumanoids. This is sort of a, a boring thing to, to um, color, but I guess if you want to take a break from monsters or something, I don't know. The Earth Corps must quickly put on their suits, draw lines to match the men to their suits. So that's cool. And this is a clever way to get kids um, involved with inhumanoids, learning more about it. <laughs> um, but, I mean, Augur's suit is right here. And then you got... Herc is here. Um, I think he's Liquidator. And that's Digger. Is that Digger? Yeah. Uh, I think that's correct. Oh, it, it tells you here, man. See, when in doubt, flip upside down and you get the answers. So there you go. Every kid knew that. Augur and Digger uh, race in the Trapper um, to try to help Magnacore stop Metlar. I don't know why um, they call it the Trapper, I guess, because Trapper was too much of a um, a generic name for them, I guess. And then they just, like, added a French tinge to a Trapper. Um, Matlar's uh, uh, clones have lured the Trapper into a fiery trap. Uh, Liquidator is trying to stop Tendril from destroying the granites. Will he make it? I don't know. Uh, draw what you think Liquidator will do to get out of Tendril's trap. So you gotta draw Liquidator, I guess. And like, you know, like melting this trap or something like that. I don't know, man. Um, and then draw in these, like color these individual uh, little rocks and stuff. Hooker will attempt to stop Decomposer's Ravaging. Dun! With like another uh, vehicle that they were selling. Granite secret code. Uh, the granites um, are flashing a message to Hooker. 
I use the key to decipher the code. So the code is um, light will stop decompose. But, you know, you try to figure it out yourself before looking at the thing. Metlar. The most uh, demon looking of the Inhumanoids, like the mo the closest I thought to what they were trying to do with this. Um, uh, Fire and Lava ha have given Metlar new strength to crush the Trapper. But Magnacore has released a huge underwater wave that can rust and destroy Metlar, so I guess water is his uh, weakness. Makes sense. They all had fairly easy weaknesses. It's still a kid's cartoon, right? And the writers needed some sort of out. Uh, Liquidator has released a powerful chemical which will stretch and weaken Tendril. And here is another picture. It's the same as this, but things are taken out. So you have to figure out what is missing and draw it in. You know, like this and like a Liquidator's foot and the eyes, etc. That's neat. And you could still color all this too. Decompose um, will try to change Hooker into an evil clone of himself. They didn't really um, touch on his gimmick that you, he can open up his ribcage and trap people in it like it's a jail or something. Uh, the granites will surround Decompose and try to crush him. Uh, circle the pile of granite rocks that is different. It's obviously this one. They didn't even try with this one, but hey. Um, so here are the granites fighting... Um, Decompose. Metlar has grabbed onto a floating lava rock to avoid being destroyed by the torrent of water. That's cool. Metlar looks neat. Um, he kind of looks like a tubby guy or something, but um, follow the maze to see where the floating rock will take him. So you can follow this and it leads to here. That's neat. And you can draw, you can like color all this stuff, color in these, this stuff if you want. It's like hours of fun, man. Um, dot to dot, connect the dots to see what um, Tendril has captured. It's obviously a granite. You can see by the face, but you do the dots and then you color it all in. Um, this is really neat. Make a paper bag puppet. Color and um, cut out the two faces. Glue them to the bottom of brown lunch bags. Like that. Um, you will have two paper bag puppets. So you cut this out and cut this out you color them and then paste them onto these um paper bags and you can like color in all the details and stuff with the paper bag as well uh, that's really neat stuff i would totally do that one sunday afternoon if i were a kid so cool you get all these paper toys out of it a board game um all sorts of fun activities and stuff and you could color in these rocks whatever isn't cut out here Paint blot, you're making ink blot um, things. You, you put paint in, you squish it, and then you can draw details like a face or something like that. Um, if I were a kid, I, I'd say, like, this is too much work. I'd rather do this other stuff. <laughs> What's a cool idea for, for a fun thing to do? Metlar has drifted into the grip of the powerful Mechacore. Um, so that's the guy who can split into two guys and... and um, Trap them in a magnetic field. Auger and Digger must get out of the trap they have drifted into. Sun picture. This is um, weird and fun. You cut out, decompose, put them on a colored construction paper, put that out in the sun, and you'll see that the um, um, everything around decompose has degraded from the sun's rays. Um, so that's cool. Uh, that's a fun little weird thing to do. You're leaving out in, for the day, though. Uh, make a Redland cartoon. So, like, you um, you cut out these pieces, you put them in order, and you can flip it and see, like, Redland grow to this size here. Teach you about cartoons, I guess. Granok knows Amber can hold, decompose, and render him powerless. Duh! So they're encasing him in Amber. So that takes care of decompose. Pyron, Cryogen, um, the two poles of Magnacore have paralyzed Metlar in their powerful grips. So that takes care of um, Metlar. 
And the Redwoods uh, fire uh, has um, scared Tendril back into the Earth's mantle. So that kind of takes care of uh, um, Tendril. It can't be on fire forever, though, so... The wary Mutors and Earthcore hope they have uh, stopped the Inhumanoids, at least for now. Dun 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 dun! So there you, there you have it, and you can color all this stuff. And this is a wonderful coloring and activity book. All sorts of great fun activities um, and opportunities to color and everything. This would be hours of fun. Like if, if I were a kid and I got this, oh my gosh. Like, you know, all, all the fun crafts and things like that. Um, it's cool to see... Um, like satellite stuff like this like that weren't part of the um the core like hasbro line of inhumanoid stuff um that someone afforded all all this uh creativity and energy to a coloring and activity book like this for the inhumanoids is pretty awesome so um that's all for now and i hope you had fun going through this with me uh till next time take care